Wow, $20,000. You gave her $20,000. For what? Why? You got me all fucked up. Don't confuse my point of... No, no, no. You're completely wrong. We met five years ago. Yes, five years ago. We have known each other for five years. No, not really. I chose you. I knew what I wanted for the rest of my life. I said it in our wedding ceremony. Honesty, integrity, and trust. These are the three principles I believe in a partnership. That's it. You gave her $20,000. No, no, no. Don't repeat what I'm saying. Don't. Don't. Please, find new words for your argument. I'm not 30 or 40. I was 50 when I met you and I knew what a man is. Yes, I surely know what a man is. Of course I know. I know everything about you, who you are, what you think, what you think when you are alone for five minutes lying down on the couch masturbating, a habit of masturbation when you were alone. Yes, you, a 61-year-old man, dreaming of my friend in my absence. It ha happened in a flash, quickly. I got the information, one, two, three, bang, of course. <laughs> of course I'm a woman. Most women are secret detectives. You didn't know that? Do you know why Agatha Christie turned to writing detective stories? She knew well that behind every curious female inspector sits a true enigmatic story of a female male betrayal what oh yeah my friend my friend i introduced you to yeah my friend who changed like a chameleon to woo you yes you the new stupid prey and then boom what jealousy what? <laughs> paranoia? You access my knowledge of human nature as paranoia? You don't know how difficult it is to find out your longtime friend disguised as a feminist is a parasite. Don't forget, I have studied human sexuality. That's why I studied. I'm not disrespecting you. No, I'm not belittling you, no mocking you. That's the reality. Why did you give her $20,000? Why? You're silent. <laughs> Why she goes out with you for a steak and shake or a drink in an expensive restaurant in my absence? Why do you go out with her every time I'm in, in a business trip? Laughing, hugging, kissing, having dinner after watching a movie? What? <laughs> Being a lonely? A lonely? Lonely? Sure. You miss me? Sure. So? So, your conversation is all about me. Why? Why does she need to know me through you? Hasn't she been my friend for 30 years? Doesn't she know my life? Why is she copying me? Why? Why is she copying my personality traits and mannerism now? For what? 
and you let her move into our relationship? You know, as a matter of fact, I did not mind sharing our life with her at the beginning of our partnership. Don't you remember? Sharing out, uh, sharing our food with her, giving her attention, taking her out. Don't you remember? But instead, she backfired, changed into a parasite, like a chameleon. Does she think I'm stupid? Wow, how naive you are. You gave her $20,000. Why? You know, I observed you both silently. You both, my little guinea pigs, all these years. It started during our wedding ceremony. She acted unusually wild. Laughed at your little jokes overly, touched your body, gave you long hugs. Naturally, you enjoyed it when she rubbed her breast with, against yours. What? Suspicious? Oh, holy moly, <laughs> it's betrayal, absolutely. You know, I use my instinct. We women have instinct. My educational skills. Don't forget, I'm a highly praised detective, more observant and intelligent than Agatha Christie. Sure, that's who I am. You don't know me? No. No, I don't think so. You don't. You try to, care, to take your revenge in your unconscious mind because I regularly go on business trips for a few days for my work. Work! What? Are you a wimp? What? Sleeping with another man in a remote hotel room? Are you nuts? Who is suspicious? You or me? $20,000. You gave her $20,000 to so-called friend. Wow. What do you want from her? Tell me. Joyful time in my absence? I have to tell you. She has never been a happy person in her entire life, ever since we met. Ever since we shared our ideology on women's rights movement, believing in the pathway of Rosa Luxemburg, Susan Sandhawk, Zora Neale Hurston, and many, many, many other women. We were poor poor and struggling because and but i worked constantly raised my two children alone and she lived like a lumpen proletariat as we called it back then now she has grown jealous of my strength of comfortable lifestyle and tries to ruin what i have built in my life these years We are older now. You want to know why? You want to know? I chose a different path and she de and she feels like a failure. It's not my fault. She has a history of an addiction to seduce married men. It's easy to approach approach married men. A married man is an easy to target easy to go to get them without the pressure of uh, of going through a new 
complicated relationship. She loves to flirt with them because she's lonely and depressed. And she's incapable of finding a steady partner in her life. And she's constantly considering herself a victim. That's how she takes revenge. By planning cunning games, she shows off her phony attitude and uh, false power. Power. That's how she tears one apart. What a feminist. She cries on your shoulder because she knows some men love the vulnerable, weaker women. She knows their weakness is all about their circulating testosterone. She knows about a man wants to be needed. Needed. She gives that strength to you. That's why she offered. That's why you offered her money, money, your power. Yes, you puffed up. You puffed up when she expresses her affection to you. You feel you are loved by another woman, a woman with a PhD. And it doesn't make you think why a woman with a PhD is incapable of finding a job, incapable of managing her life emotionally and financially. And you, you gave her $20,000 to get another PhD in the same field as mine, starting her life at the age of 55. Aren't you insane? I have a PhD. Do I say anything else? Anything? Wow. I want to know who is she to you? Who are you to her? I work day and night to be a woman of substance. And you, a 61 year old man, feel puffed up by getting more attention from another woman. No, I'm not diminishing you. I'm telling you the truth about yourself. Yes, of course. Did you know she bought a house in a suburb of Washington, D.C. a few years ago? Did you know that? Did she tell you that? What? <laughs> you call me a complicated woman? I don't mind. Perhaps for a simple-minded man, I am. But I just wanted to tell you, I feel the smallest things. Yes, I can easily creep under your skin and shape your dreams. Change them in the middle of something you think it's wow, sexy and exciting. Yes, and this parasite also feels the smallest things in you. Yes, in you. It's you who are naive, immature, I must say. Yes, I chose you, you. But I can dump you in a moment. I made my life with integrity, honesty, and truth. I know who I am. I know. I know who I am. Now, go. Go. Go to her. Let her rip you off. Let her suck your blood like a leech and reduce you like an angelfish. You don't know angelfish? Google it. You will find out. You both deserve each other. Go, go, go. Go to that sucker. You deserve a leech. Oh, 
It rings. Silently. Look, she's calling you. That's her. That's her, the parasite. No. I'm gonna answer. Don't you mind? Gosh, you deserve a filthy life. Look, look. Hello? Hello? Hi, my friend. Yeah, it's me, Medea. Surprised? So, you want to talk with Jason? No? You don't? Wow, but you called his phone. If you wanted to call me, you should have called my cell phone, right? Sure, sure, sure. You missed me. Oh, yeah. But you called Jason. So, <laughs> so what's up? Yeah, it's okay. My partner has a right to listen to our conversation. Don't? So you thought I'm not around this time. Yeah, I'm sure you know. Jason has told you everything. I usually go whenever I go for a walk at this hour. How do you feel? not seeing Jason during the corona time. Oh, you see him? Where? In the park? So, you walk together around the park every day. How fascinating! So, so you want to have a sex phone? Just go ahead, I can give it to him. <laughs> of course you did. Of course! Sex phone, yeah! Do you think I'm stupid? You stay out of it, out of this. I'm talking to my dear friend of 30 years. Yes, you did. Of course. Every time I went to a business trip, you both met. met. Walk together, dine together, watch plays, movies together, touched each other, laughed, and, and what? A traditional woman? Do you think I'm a traditional woman? Oh, wow! What? French and German culture? What? So you think... So you think if I let you sleep with my partner, then I would be... Then he would be Jean Paul Sartre and I would be considered Simone de Beauvoir, a highly open-minded intellectual feminist. How about you? How about you? What would you do if you have a partner at the age of 55 and your partner starts Think about it. And your partner shares a secret life with another woman hiding the relationship from you. How would you react? Tell me. You be quiet. You, please, okay? Before she knows you, she was so-called my friend. Stay out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you indirectly ask for money? Why? Or a room in our house, in our house. Don't you have a PhD? Don't you have a PhD? Like, what? Haven't I worked like a dog, raising my two children while waiting tables and helping old people in nursing homes? What's, what's wrong with those kinds of jobs? Aren't they decent? Oh, gosh. And you called yourself a feminist? Betraying your own friend? Using the... What? Using deceptive language? Bullshitting intellectual ideas? 
You. You should, you, you should listen to me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ex exposing you to yourself. Yes, you, you should. No, no, you have to listen to me. You have to. I don't pity you. You should stand on your own feet. Listen, again, you should stand on your own feet. Yes, you, you, yourself. A feminist? You called yourself a feminist? Why did you ask Jason to pay you $20,000? Answer me. To get another useless PhD at the age of 55, as you are? A person who cannot manage her life at the age of 55 will not be able to survive at the age of 60. Think about it. Yes. Yes. Yes, sure. He calls you his lover. He said you are his lover. Yes, he did. Who is having mask? You or me? You or me? Pull yourself together, woman. Don't be a parasite. Work, work, work. Don't prostitute yourself. Yes. <laughs> she, hung up. she hung up on me. Hear your phone. Okay, now she, now you have her. Go. I'm going to pack my stuff. It takes a few days to move. You don't have to say anything. You both, both deserve each other. Go, go. Go. After years of living single, I found a life I enjoyed the most with Jason. I will miss him and the life we built together. We shared our public and private life, but the secret life is a secret life. My bare face performs like a mask. My mask is my bare face. People listen to those who conduct secret lives and, and have a thousand faces. I'm naked like a desert, a desert lives like a desert, thirsty for rain, thirsty for wind. Must I learn how to cover my bare face?